Hi there, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, I will going to talk about the pick function. So pick function is very helpful and sometimes it is a lifesaver when used with along function, other functions like dimensionality because uh, the way it has been structured is that uh, based on the value of n which could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 it will going to pick that expression so if n value is 1 then it will pick the expression 1 if n value is 2 then pick the expression 2 and you can think like this uh, suppose you have a custom table where you have the ad hoc measures which you want uh, users to change and you have assigned those measure value measures numbering as uh, measure 1 is equal to 1 measure 2 equals to 2 so 1 2 3 4 whatever you will supply that particular you know definition of the measure the function will pick and your your uh, measure which you will specify it over here will going to evaluate based on the definition of the measure so just to show you in perspective i have a very simple example so what do I have over here is uh, serial number, sales group, team, date and amount. And we have a serial number as 1 for East and 2 for West. So wherever East is there, 1. Wherever West is there, you have 2. Right. So what we want is right now, if you see, we have ser like serial number, sales group, team, date and amount. And we know uh, from our subject matter expertise that uh, 1 is assigned to a particular manager and 2 is assigned to a different manager so we want to show them in the front end table even though it's not part of this table but with the help of the pick function we will going to specify that and for that i will going to take a table and i will take a sales group and to specify the manager i will take a dimension and in this i will specify the expression which is pick s number serial number so we know serial number returns 1 and 2 so if serial number one is written, then let's say the manager is Jeff, right? Or if uh, the serial number is two, let's say the manager is a different manager, Shaw. All right, let's click apply. And over here, you will see the mapping in front of you. So serial number is basically the key. If it, is, if it has one, it will pick the first expression or the first value if it has two it will pick the second expression so sometimes it can be uh, used as a replacement of if and if function and become and your dashboard will become very very efficient when you just uh, mold your if calculation in such a way that it can be included as part of if so uh, if you have done that let me know in the comments uh, about your creativity what you have done apart from this with the help of the pick function it will help me understand as well as to the community to about uh, how how creatively you have used the pick function but about a particular scenario which i have shared like uh, converting if condition into a pick one then uh, which i will talk to you in a separate video if you want to see it just comment it and uh, i will try to prepare a video for that so thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic